Hello, hello everyone. So we're going to show you how to dry sand jasmineite. Yes, it is possible. Get some protective gear because of the sand dust. So glasses, so dust doesn't go into your eyes. Also gloves uh, because of some sharp edges. We are using a vacuum that you can immediately plug in your sander and the vacuum turns on at the same time as the sander. You connect the hose into the sander and all the dust, or at least almost all the dust, will be sucked in into the vacuum. We're starting the dry sanding with a grid of 120. Also a nice tip is to use an anti-sleeping mat. Now we're also using 120 to sand the back of the piece so we can have a smooth back because sometimes as you see on the edges it has a little bit of extra jasmineite and we want to make sure that the piece has a nice finish and can also lay on its back. In less than 30 seconds you would already have removed all the extras on the corners with just the 120 grit. Sanding terrazzo pieces will be much faster and you will also have a very nice finish but using circular sanders or using any electrical sander will always be easier in a flat surface. You will need to gain a little bit more experience when you are trying to sand pieces that are not flat but there are these cushions that you can also attach your sandpaper on, not sure if for all the sanders and you are also able to sand the terrazzo like this because the padded, padded cushion will adapt to the shape of the piece. Next we're going to use a 320 grid and that's our last step into dry sanding. We will sand again the same piece with 320 and this will make sure that if there are any scratches that the 120 grid created, now they will be removed and you have a complete smoothed back that doesn't need any more sanding at all. We will finalize with wet sanding with a 400 grit. And we're only going to use on these corners to make sure that people don't get hurt in the sharp corners. And that will be it. This is the final result. And if you like this video, please comment, subscribe, share, like, do all those things. And thank you so much for watching.